Uh, efficient tournament from, from Shock so far, taking advantage of his chances. So, is it some kind of a Panov? Or yeah, it looks like it. It looks like Panov, yeah? Transposition. Yeah, transposition, it is a Panov. This line, everybody is playing. Okay. So, you didn't go for the Knight C3 line? That, no. That's maybe a bit more popular. I guess they're the same. Okay, so we have this typical structure where somehow both people have some weak pawns. Mm -hmm. uh, I always seem to like white in these positions, but I know uh, with I, some preparation, if you can, uh, you have the two bishops. You just. I guess the biggest problem is somehow to get this bishop from c8 uh, mm -hmm. working. I think you. I think. Uh, do you think it's some line where he's going to allow? C6 to be taken, let's say Queen C2, and just... Uh-huh, and then just to let take a pawn. In some and yeah. Okay, it is making sense. I'm just now... Maybe Queen B6, uh, or...? No, I'm just wondering, do you need really to defend this pawn? Let's say, if you play Bishop A6, are you going to take it? I was going to play Bishop D2. Bishop and D2. probably just play the uh, typical Knight C5. And then how is... Uh, how is my ending? Probably not great, or great, rooks, I don't know. Rooks, rooks, okay. I move, take, you move this rook, let's play, if I do, okay, let's play bishop e2. Yeah. I want my pawn back. You jump. These can be a little unpleasant. There's some problems. Yeah. Yep, there's some problems, okay. So should be careful not to maybe trade queens immediately. It's probably some preparation though, um, if you're going for this line as black. Yeah, because if you actually trade queens, then you may get it to... There are different lines here where queens are traded and black is actually having some small problems. Yeah. In these kind of endings. I guess that this bishop is a key. Your move is probably a very logical move, queen c2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's queen c2 or queen d1, but usually... The other move, of course, which Giri might be considering is move bishop d2 to try to go straight into right. ending. For example, how is descending? It looks to me slightly better for white. So I'm going to rook b8. Knight c5. Knight c5. <coughs> I always like white in these end games. Even because here you can really sit on him for yes. quite some time. Yes. Knight will come to e5. And, uh, uh, opposite colors bishops is not a draw, it is just better for white. Well, Anish won't be complaining with, with his position for sure. Yes, yeah, so Anish actually, he likes technical advantages. Uh, and Mamed Yarov actually is known for a, as a guy that he needs initiative. Mm -hmm. yep. He's... Uh, okay, of course he's a great player, but yeah. he's not a guy that can really can so easily sit on his hands and to defend some position without a counter for a long time. Do you think he's improved much in that aspect? Because to, to get to world number two, maybe he tried to be a bit more solid, a bit, a bit more balanced between a, a, attacking uh, and... I think that he has become a little bit that something has changed inside him because uh, uh, I was talking to him uh, in a 2015 mm -hmm. in Baku. At that time, uh, I was employed uh, by UAE as a coach and Salem uh, Abdurrahman Salam was playing in Baku Open, mm -hmm. and I was there as his second. Yeah. And one of the days, uh, Shakir came to visit, yeah. uh, and uh, he was at that time not so happy, because he was actually saying that well, uh, he doesn't see really that he is improving very much, that he is having uh, some friends who are in some other sports, and okay, that they are financially way more successful, and he was somehow not so happy with all this. So I do not know if this is a result, let's say, that the uh, situation has changed and this uh, world chess tour and everything somehow gave him some more impulse. This I do not know, but something has changed inside him because he looks now very focused, very eager for success than he did actually <coughs> 2015 when I was talking to him. So what it changed, I have no idea. Yeah. Maybe it is uh, this uh, grand world tour, mm -hmm. maybe he got some new girlfriends, is Girlfriend, this, 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 this normally can't, uh, this, this can change a man. Yes, uh, it can, it can, yeah. But something has changed because really, 
I saw him now also coming inside. He's coming to the game very focused. I see some motivation. That is not all mm. old Chuck. Yeah. I do not see him any longer uh, ordering breakfast at five o'clock in the morning in a casino. This uh, these times are finished. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. He's oh. extremely focused. Uh, you you can see on him that he's eager to succeed and with his talent. Okay, you see the results. We're seeing the results. I mean, guys, amazingly talented. So let's see. Did Giri make a move? No. Uh, well, but yeah, Bishop D two, I think, is logical. Yeah. There's only one one other game, and it went. Oh, okay. Rookie You're checking one. the database. That's smart. Actually, rookie one. Yeah. So rookie one. Rookie one, queen b6, queen c2 was uh, some other game here. Okay, did anybody play bishop d2? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, there are many games in this position. Okay, I see that... Uh, I don't know how deep is your comp, but... Uh, he's, no, no, no. no. I, I, uh, <laughs> he's saying that I'm not entirely stupid. It is his third move. Yes. No. The well, actually, second move. If second move. That, yeah. I, I second don't, move. I, yeah. I'm not normally. Queen d3 uh, doesn't look logical to me. It looks logical to me either to play tempo move, which you were suggesting, yeah, or to force an ending. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get that off. Um, But we both want to see, I guess. We both prefer white right now. Yeah, we both prefer white. Oh, I, I'm only wondering if I really start with this primitive bishop d2, how do you get active play? Because if you That get really forces the queens off. Otherwise, uh, there's no point in playing queen b4, right? Uh, queen b6, maybe. You need to play. I'm even thinking in this position... T well, I'm not worried about that pawn yet. Now, queen c2? <laughs> you can now play either queen c2 or you can put rook on c1 yeah. and threaten to win a pawn. Yeah. This rook, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, now now we come to your question. If you now grab a pawn, do I get some drawing compensation? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What what you were actually saying? But I need a move for black. Too. You need a move for yeah. black. So let's say let's try to do some. I don't know. If I play move like rook d8, maybe you bother me with bishop g5. I would pref I yeah. I prefer not to play f6. Well, I'm not really sure here what can Black do, because Knight E5 is also kind of an idea in the position. I mean, I'm even thinking, for but instead of uh, Rook E1, if you start with Knight E5, Rook C1, right? uh, instead of Rook C1, if yeah. you start with Knight E5, uh, it really, I mean, you cannot really take on D4. I don't know. Maybe you can. Maybe this knight c6 is just nothing. Maybe it is just yeah, uh, yeah. just shot. Uh, now I would take and yeah, and then you would grab, grab even that. or even you would be greedy. Oh yeah, that's that's true. No, I'm happy if you take here because then the bishop. Then your bishop. Goes. Okay, so knight e5 is stupid move. Yeah. Maybe queen b6 because I really don't like queen b3. And queen c2. Okay, you want your. He pawn. did. He did. He played queen c2. He played it. Okay, yeah. good. So he's playing your move. <coughs> Let me see, look, I don't like move bishop b7. Because he would jump somewhere on c5, this bishop mm -hmm. has no future. No, no, so that move I really hate. Then you also can't play queen b6 because knight e7. Yeah, yeah this, this move I hate. I also hate losing pawns for nothing. So <laughs> I need to yeah. come up with something smart. Yeah, I guess he keeps the queens on the board as well because without the double b pawns, I mean, if he wins c6, it's like a real, real pawn. Yeah. It's a okay, so pawn. be it. Let me play queen b6 anyway. Okay. I protect my pawn. Queen b6. Um, knight c5, or let's say bishop d2. Uh, bishop d2. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I need some to find some active play. Otherwise, my life is not great. Okay, let me. Uh, moment if I, does it make sense for me to push my a pawn, mm -hmm. or it's only a problem because of the queen's? Does it make sense for me? Let's say maybe a five or something like this. Now, of course, problem is when you attack my queen, it is uh, difficult to say pass. Mm -hmm. There's a three. There's knight c five. 
I need to wait a little bit with the black with my pieces. If you play move like knight c5, okay, maybe let's say rook d8, so I can move my bishop if I like from c8. a3. Okay, play this piece on, on a6. At least I developed this bishop. Yeah. Thinking about bishop g5 or... Well, if you go bishop g5, actually, I do not mind playing bishop f6. If you want to trade the dark square bishop, trade it. Because only somehow bad news for me can be if you get some mating play. Mm -hmm. Because of absence of this bishop. Maybe you will get it. But not immediately. Okay, take, take. Okay, what do you think of a position? Oh, not this. B3 and A4, yeah? Yeah. Well, I think this is a standard plan. It's still... It is a standard plan. You want to fix my pawn weaknesses and to ensure your knight. To me, this still feels quite comfortable for white, but I'm not, uh, I'm not experienced with these positions as, from the black side. This bishop on a6, uh, I can... Still doesn't have a great future. No. No, I, for example, I am a bit familiar with worse version of this position. For example, if pawn from a... Uh, if pawn from e6... <coughs> yeah. Not doing anything. Knight spin. So, the two minor pieces control all of black's minor pieces. We might be preparing this move. Might be taking, but... I like white. I completely like white. I, I, this, this is actually... And I agree that position also is... Uh, even, let's say, if assessment is unclear, it is easier to play with white. Yeah. I'm trying to think of now what can be a clever move for black. Have a result there. And is that, is that Mama Jarov? Mm -hmm. Probably he lost. Looks like Anishkiri has defeated Mama Jarov in a Leader. very one-sided game. Yeah, let's and see. And we saw it coming. Yeah, we saw it coming. Uh, this opening, yeah, a because this, uh, these pawns are, uh, are horrible. My God, he will lose all the pawns. He resigned here, yeah? He resigned. He has so enough why did it. he resign? Because of King H2? Uh, yes. Yes, King H2. He's having terrible pawns, and uh, for a compensation, he's under mating attack. Yeah. For example, bishop here, check. Check, and knight d6 will and come. And you lose everything. You lose everything. Anish Giri but takes he, down German leader Mabiyarov. But he took down Mamadiara with incredible ease. Yes, this wasn't even a technical conversion, it was just a bad position. Yeah. Like, so this was a total disaster. But do I, you think that maybe uh, a bit Mamediaro being so close to win this tournament, his nerves let him down? It's possible, there's still... I think he's expecting like guys like Carlson to, to, to chase him, so I don't think he, he really thought he had it in the bag or, or something. But this, this game... Is